Hej, kære lytter. Her til aften bringer jeg en særlig og sørgelig meddelelse. Bandet The Forest Quartet har mistet deres sangerinde og saxofonist Nina. Det er nu en uge siden, hun gik bort efter en lang kamp mod en sjældent sygdom. The Forest Quartet er et meget mystisk jazzband, som efter sine bor dybt inde i det mørkeste af en uberørt skov. De har tidligere fortalt mig, at en vigtig inspirationskilde ligger gemt derinde, hvor træerne står allertættest. Bandet har valgt at afholde en afskedskoncert for Nina, og dermed give hendes fans en mulighed for at sige farvel. Koncerten finder sted om tre dage på bandets egen, helt unikke skovscene. Personligt gør det mig meget ondt, at Nina ikke længere er her til at fylde vores hjerter med hendes smukke stemme. Mine bønder går ud til de resterende bandmedlemmer. Jeg håber, I ser en vej ud af mørket og stadig kan finde jeres egen fantastiske musikalske gnist. Quickly introduce yourself. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your instrument? Sebastian. I play drums. He's the best jazz drummer in Denmark. Thank you, Kirk. I wish you could say you were the best jazz pianist in America, but... <laughs> it's, a, it's a big country. It's a hell of a big country. But the best pianist in Colorado, right? Probably. So so you're American and, uh, and a pianist. Yeah, yeah. Some say the best in Colorado. <laughs>
not sleeping. So, are you less depressed in the woods? Okay. First of all, I've never been depressed. But if we were to pretend that I'd been depressed in the city, which I was not, well then, compared to my level of depression in the woods, if we say that in the city I was, like, not depressed at all, maybe zero, okay, maybe one on a scale to ten, <laughs> then in the woods I'm, like, minus seven. I'm not depressed at all. The opposite of that. <laughs> okay, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, the important thing is that you are not depressed.
I, I mean, I need time to rehearse. I'm so rusty and... Uh. Maybe, maybe I have enough time. What time is it? Can you point out the one thing that is the main uh, inspiration? Is it the trees or is it, is it the birds or is it the bees? Or do you listen to your own carrots while they're growing and get inspiration from that? What's... I'm, I'm too lazy to grow anything. But sometimes I, I do fantasize that there are these like generators out there in the forest. They generating health and inspiration for freaks like us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's the only freak. Our favorite freak. I thought that was the freak. No, you are Loon. Yeah, she la Loon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. something you got to give me some time to think about it though i imagine these generators as proper machines big sci-fi-ish cool looking machines in the yeah, wait, wait, wait. machines out in the wood or do you consider the tree to be a machine no machines but like i said it's a fantasy yeah maybe there are generators like this in the city too uh, but they don't work any longer so do you all have a forest fantasy, an individual forest fantasy, like Kirk? Mm -hmm. The morning mist. Um, the smell in the air after rain. That's not a fantasy.
Hey, again, JB, it's me. Sorry for being such a mess and not picking up earlier. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's changed, but I'm starting to feel like we can pull this off. Just like we planned it. I'm gonna go rehearse and, and I'll see you there. <laughs>